tuned into the sounds of Urban X. That can be you with a fifty dollar uh, Patreon membership. Yes, right. You can get a chance. It could be, hey, you tuned into Urban X, y'all. It could be whatever you want it yeah. to be. You know what I mean? Could be Alejandro. Hey, you know they didn't find me here. Mm. I thought Malcolm was gonna mm. find me, <laughs> but he didn't find me. I'm thankful because me and my family we love Malcolm. His father, I don't know so much because his father yeah. told him to fire me. But hey, you know this is. Urban X, you are tuned in. This is Alejandro. Could be Alejandro. Could be anybody. So, you know. So, uh, this, uh, this story is definitely not Urban Excellence. Oh, whoa. So, uh, a grand jury reports that over a thousand children have been uh, sexually assaulted by a priest in Pennsylvania mm. through six different um, dioceses in Pennsylvania. Okay, okay. So, yeah. yeah. So you want me to go in? You, yeah, I mean, like okay. that was the, that was the perfect alley. -oop. Yeah, it like, was the serious? perfect alley oop. Um, but I thought maybe you had some, you wanted to kick some stuff. Here's the thing, guys, and I've been preaching this to you guys. These people are weirdos, and I don't think you understand the magnitude of just how weird these people are. Mm. Here's the question I want to ask that I didn't pose before: Where the hell are they finding these kids? Mm. Where the hell are they finding a thousand kids? who are going along with this shit. Let me tell you, let me add something else to that. I think the parents are in on this shit too. Mm. It's impossible for that many kids to be available. And if they say 1,000, it was probably 5,000. Mm. All right, they, they always like to keep the numbers low to you know try to soften uh, the blow. These white parents, because it ain't no black kids, only black kids they get are the ones whose parents uh, don't allow, who are not around parenting them. Really quick story. Um, my freshman year in high school is a rival high school in the Bronx called Cardinal Hayes, right? Yes. And the principal got knocked for having a relationship with one of the students, right? The student wasn't going home. He was actually living in the school. He was taking showers in the school. Ooh. And the principal got caught with one of the students. Okay. And so... It's, I don't know, I don't think he was black either. That's, no, no, no. But when I, mean, I don't think he was white either. Okay, I, I just got finished saying. No, I'm, I'm you just, have these yeah. loose, they do these psychoanalysis on these kids. But most of these kids are white. And remember, a lot of these parents abuse their own children. Mm. A lot of these white parents abuse their own children. I, I'm going to say it again, it's the culture. Y'all missing it? Y'all missing the point. This is not random. This is not a goddamn anomaly. This is a way of life. And because it's a way of life, they offer their kids over to the diocese, you know what I'm diocese, saying? The yes. diocese. Yes. And allow them, you have, how many reports you got to read before you say, my kid is not going there. Now, I told you the story before when Marcus, your older brother, came home and said, yeah, they, they want to take us away on a camping trip. I said, nigga, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> he looked at me like, what? I said, nigga, you ain't going nowhere. We sent you to the school just because of the graduation rate. I know how they get down. They get you at the little camping trips. Allow you, we're going to let you do a little something different. Drink a little alcohol, get your ass loose. And next thing you know, it's a wrap, mm. right? So no, I said, no. Then they tried some slick shit and said, yo, well, they want pictures of the family. You ain't getting no pictures of my family either because I know how the ritual work. You know what I'm saying? Go. So he was pissed until... He grew up late and understood that this is the process. So it's going on extremely heavy. Now that just happened in Philly. A thousand kids in Philly. How many kids in New York? How many kids in Chicago? Mm -hmm. How many kids in Milwaukee? How many kids in Kansas? And they all and they um and uh the people were going in on the uh the diocese for covering it up. They, they have to cover but it up. It's, but but it's so systemic. It's so weird. And then remember, that, that should go still... all the way up to Hollywood. It's, listen, keep, listen, mm. family out there, watch your children. I didn't let my kids spend a night at nobody's house. I wouldn't give a fuck if you was family or not. And you could take that personal. My kids ain't spending a night. I'm sorry, because it only takes once. You know what I mean? And I did that because you have to guard your children. And for that many children to be like, here, go, go. And you look at the damn uh, 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 swim uh, instructor for the Olympics. Oh, right, right. Like, said, like, like give me a break. Right, the trainer. The trainer, give right. me a break. Right? So this is systemic. This is their culture. Look at their artwork. Look at, you know what I'm saying, study the Greeks, study the Romans. And that's what they do. 
You know what I'm saying? And, and, and y'all sitting around understanding that what's morally uh, incorrect for you is this is how these people get down. I, I, I can't continue to preach it enough. Don't send your kids to these, uh, you know, these Catholic churches. Don't send your kids to these goddamn churches. Let's start there. Fact. All right? Fact. And take it any way you want to take it. Fact. Peace. This is The Black Dot, author of the underground classic Hip Hop Decoded and Urban Culture Decoded. For 15 years, I've been decoding hip hop, breaking it down, giving you it piece by piece, the DNA of hip hop, all of its multifaceted components. For the next 15 years, I want you to join me as I give you hip hop recoded and we put it back together, giving you its RNA so that we don't leave the next generation lost. But I have to give you a disclaimer. I am not a hip hop guru. This is not hip hop law. This is for pure entertainment purposes only. I am not a doctor. So before you take the red pill and go with us into the matrix of hip hop, consult your doctor to see if hip hop recoded is for you. With that being said, we thank you for your patronage and we see you on the other side. Peace.